Hey guys, Louis Montez here. I wanted to show um, something I've been working on. This is a light blue bean. It's a Bluetooth low energy device. Um, it is able uh, by default to um, allow you to change uh, colors, um, RGB colors on an LED. Um, also it has accelerometers built in. But the interesting thing is the Bluetooth low energy uh, chip can be connected from uh, various devices. So over here on my laptop, I have got uh, Gate Blue running, which is our um, our little service to connect up to Skynet. So uh, Gate Blue is running on this uh, MacBook Air, and um, it is connected to that bean. Um, we could see up here that we are um, that we are in fact connected to the bean. I mean, that happened as soon as Gate Blue fired up. So um, one thing we could do with that is, since we have Gate Blue running, why don't we um, use Node Blue to send a message? So pretty straightforward message here. I am just um, sending to a sub-device running on, on Gate Blue um, a payload to set, um, to set color. So let's do that. So over here to our laptop, I'll send um, 255 on R, and that lit up the, the bean here with Bluetooth. I could you know, turn it on and off with this here. And uh, so, so that works fine. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and disconnect um, the bean. So I'm going over here, I'm disconnecting the bean. Um, I don't even really need gate blue running. So no, Gate Blue is not running right now, um, but um, a, a pretty cool thing here, ooh, I got a little bit of a uh, reflection, is uh, on um, this Nexus 5 here, um, I wrote a little PhoneGap app, um, and this little PhoneGap app is connecting up to, um, up to Skynet, and it's able to use that same plugin um, built, uh, in this case, for a browser, um, it's uh, able to connect to that bean using a, uh, a shim for Bluetooth. Now, if I, um, instead of going to my gate blue, I'm going to, um, to this phone gap application, I should, in fact, be able to, yep, I'm uh, um, sending a color. This time I'm sending blue. Um, but now it's going through the phone. So, um, so I can turn on and off, I could basically read and write values to, um, to that Bluetooth low energy device. And in this case, it's passing through the phone. Um, another cool thing here is this phone, if you'll notice, it's actually, it's not on Wi-Fi. It is uh, just using, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus here. Um, it's anyways, it's, it's not on Wi-Fi, it's just using the, um, uh, H, uh, I'm sorry, the LTS or the LTE connection, um, but I had it working on 3G earlier too. Anyways, um, so the phone is connecting up to Skynet just over um, the mobile provider, and uh, Node Blue is sending messages up to Sky uh, up to to Mesh Blue. Uh, Mesh Blue is relaying them to the phone. The phone is connecting to the Bean. So I'm um, using just one plugin, one set of code. We're able to, on multiple platforms, talk to either energy devices, but the same code base, which is important here. So now we can have uh, plugins that uh, do things with Mesh Blue, um, OctoBlue, the the whole thing, and uh, we only need one code base, so we can just start um, connecting all of the Bluetooth low energy devices through this bit of code. Thanks.